two, four, five, and that time he stick, kept under the ball a little bit more. So you have to be consistent in that hand position. However, he's gotten himself in a pretty good position. You know, even though he's not throwing a lot of strikes, he's still leading by 20 pounds. He was one of four to bowl perfect 300 games this week. <laughs> it does feel good to sit down, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't realize the pressure on these players until you sit in that seat. Looks good. Gary! Ah, uh, yes. After an open frame, bouncing back. Kelly Kaufman, he tells us the key to rolling four consecutive 300 games in four cities on the tour. Well, I started out in Seattle. I bowled one there, and then I bowled one in Portland, Riverside, and then uh, last week in Fresno. And uh, it's, it's a combination of uh, bowling well, uh, and a little bit of luck involved, and uh, the, you know, you've got to have a lot of, you've got to have both of those really for the PBA conditions out here, because they're a lot different than league conditions, and uh, all that helps out. And uh, it would be nice to shoot a fifth one here in El Paso this week. Along with you, he saw uh, a break as the 10 pin went out, leaving only the 7. So cross lane now, Kelly Kaufman. We're at Bo El Paso in the city by the same name. We'll return in a moment as you get an idea of some of the flavor here. Frame. Oh, no. Oh. Both professionals. Uh, Mike, and you get their reactions, which often uh, great captions for the pictures. Let's see if he says anything after trying to uh, cover this pin. Right. Very businesslike. Ron Williams, as we go to another businesslike man, <laughs> Nelson Burton. Thank you, Chris Schenkel, Derek Williams. The two righties are high on one lane, light on the other. How about the left side? Is there a big difference in the lanes? Well, Bo, it looks like uh, from practice, uh, everything seemed to be pretty well, pretty close to being even on both sides. Uh, left lane may have been just a hair tighter for me, but uh, they're playing pretty close to the same for me. All right, he looks like he can go at him, Chris. We'll know in a minute. All right, that was Derek Williams, Beaumont area. No relation to this man, Ron Williams. But they're Texans. And that's where we are. The very corner of the Lone Star State. And it's hot. 102. All right. Continuing to mark is Ron Williams as Kelly Kaufman is back up. Kelly's first uh, television appearance was in 1990. Finished second in Milwaukee. It was there that he beat Marshall Holman and then lost to Parker Bone, who is our tournament leader here in this event. Ooh, well done. Next Saturday on ABC Sports right here, Bowling's Hot Shots will duel in the desert sun again. The summer tour continues to stay hot for the $125,000 Tucson PBA Open. That's next Saturday. Golden Pin Lanes, Pete Tontis and all. Norm Duke, the defending champion, just Stay Rook made that 7-10 split there last year on TV. Now mm -hmm. Kelly Kaufman to close the ground. All right, eight pins separating these two professionals. Trailing bait is the man at whom you're looking. Watch this reaction. Watch this wrist action, too. Bear up. Close. And there's a ninth frame strike, Nelson. Ron Williams, known for his great clutch bowling. Chris has had a lot of misfortunes on TV. He averaged 249, shooting scores of 257 and 251 and 239 while losing matches on TV. As you see his position on the line, he's going to start here. He'll drift to the left and then be right over the second arrow. This is a big shot, 10th frame. Carry it. Man. 
Sets up the possibility of mm -hmm. Kelly Kaufman throwing strikes to win or even a tie match. As you see him drifting to the left, a good loft over the foul line. Doesn't get the love tap on the 10. The best he can bowl is 202. Kaufman, a potential 214. Stuck a little bit at the line, but nevertheless, continuing to mark here in our first game in this close match, the winner um, will have a great opponent in Derek Williams, and that'll be our next game. See that face? Remember Jim Hart, St. Louis Cardinals, mm -hmm. soon to be a Hall of Famer in the NFL? Kelly Kaufman looking like will need a strike, at least one, to win this match. Four pin in El Paso. That's been part of our story today. But it's a 201 for Ron Williams. Kelly Kaufman must strike on this ball and get eight in a spare to win. If he does not strike on this ball, he cannot advance to the next match. This is the key shot. Only a six pin. Boy, I'll bet you he wants that Couldn't back, Chris. Cannot win the match. The best he can do is 193. It's going to be Ron Williams against Derek Williams in the second match. Boy, he sure wants that back. Ron Williams got a great break to win sitting on the bench in a high-scoring environment like this. And Kelly Coughlin will be the first to admit that that was one of the poorest ball he sees throwing. But that's how you learn out here. You learn from the bad things and improve next time. 190 for Kelly Kaufman. We'll see him again soon. Nice win for Ron.